Humans share about 50% of their DNA with bananas. What are we closer to? Bananas or chimps? Oh, you're gonna eat the mush side? I like mush banana. It's like banana pudding. Keep telling a... the audience stuff. You know what? I, I learned something just before the episode. Here, I learned I could do this. Bananas float in water because they're less dense than water. Ready, set, show! Welcome back, everybody. We got a British guy in the office. We and do. And he spouts off all the time using words and language that I'm just not familiar with. Gavin, would you mind? There's no room for him, really. Just kind of awkwardly sat there. You might as well just get in here. <laughs> Perfect. Just like that. Uh, so <laughs> I'm glad that we brought Gavin Free on set today. So there's a lot of British words that we don't know that this guy makes up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're not real. He's going to give us a couple rounds of three words. British slang. Yep. Two of which are real and one of which he's made up entirely. And it's up to us to figure out independently which one he's made up. And then we'll have a little British celebration at the end for right. all three of us for having learned something. Mar my toast. There it is. But uh, you know, if, if, if you really suck at the game, we might, we might hit you with something a little extra, Good. but we'll see. Okay, Kev, uh, we've given you a chalkboard, write ABC, your three oh, words. What, what are our words? Flip it over, here we Round go. Round one. Round one. You've got scran. Scran. You've got yonks. Dude. And you got bleef. What? Two of those are real? <laughs> Two of those are real. Yonks is like people from somewhere. There's yeah. some British city, you know, like, <laughs> like, like like an idiot American. Belief is real gap. <laughs> <laughs> Belief, I think he's into. <laughs> that's like that's like when you really trust in something, you have 100% belief in I come it. By you a know? Full belief. No, belief sounds more to me like Gav says something like, uh, you know, and I had to clean up my room because it was a bit dusty. There was some belief on the ground and, you know, like just some general belief around. Yeah, he does like the long E sound. <laughs> See, he's, you know what I mean. Uh, you walk in, you trip over a little belief. There's just a lot of belief on the floor. Yeah. Okay, All right. Give me, hit me up with scran. What's scran mean? Maybe use it in a sentence or a definition or something. Uh, scran is food. Scran. Let's go get some scran. Scran's food. I Generic can, food. I can feel scran. That. Yep. You ready? I'll do the countdown. Oh god, hold on. <laughs> scran just hit me again. <laughs> okay, I All have right. to. I All have right. to so do it. Hey, wait, okay, ready? Three, two, one. C. C. We both I, think okay. it's belief. We I, both I, think belief is made up by Gav. Yep. All right. Food. Okay. Food. A really long time. Really long time. Oh. Yeah, haven't seen you in Yonks. So it's like another way of saying years, but it's even more than that, maybe? Kinda. And this one is utter bullshit. Yes! Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. My, my fake definition was marijuana. Oh, oh like spleef. You gotta need a belief, bruv. Bruv. <laughs> <laughs> and I can feel that because it's got leaf in there. So it's kind of yeah. like... Yeah. Okay, you ready? Oh, ready. Boy. Round okay, two. Round two. You've got Omel. <laughs> you've got Butty. And you've got Wazik. 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 <laughs> All right, out of the gate, what strikes me as Gavin is Buddy. Str strictly because it ends with that E sound he loves so much, and it also centers on what I would consider his primary anatomy focus, the anus. Buddy. But E. Oh, man, I feel like Buddy could be something, though. But it could also be like... What, what was the, pronounce the last one again? Wazik. Wazik. <laughs> He's saying it confidently, even though Wazik. that's not a word. <laughs> I, <I'm> like, <laughs> Omel. Omel's an omelet. You're gonna get some eggs in the morning. Man. Let's go out for some French toast and an omel. Omel. Right? That's gotta like be I've an omel. That. I feel like I have heard that. Omel. Buddy, though, is like, oh yeah, we were playing soccer the other day, and, he, and the <laughs> the other team, the goalie gave me a buddy. Gave like <laughs> a headbutt. Gave a little like, buddy. Oh, that's a good one. That could be true. Gavin does that. Like, you could see the like little coming in front of that. A mm. little buddy. Little buddy. Little buddy. Wazik. I don't even know. It, like a crazy person? Like, this guy went well Wazik the other day. Like, you know, <laughs> he, he was just going nuts. He just was... You're a Wazik, Jim. You're a, you're a Wazik. We might need a definition of one of these. Yeah, hit me Which up with... You, um, you want I, a bit of Wazik in there? Let's get a little Wazik. What, what's a Wazik, Gab? A Wazik is just straight up an idiot. I was close! I yeah. said a crazy guy. He's like, yeah. oh, he's, you Wazik. <laughs> so, he said, he, like the venom he said it with made it sound so real. <laughs> he's called someone that before. <laughs> he's called someone Recently. an old Wazik. All right, I think I'm ready to give my answer. Okay, I'm ready. All right, you want to do the countdown this time? Three, two, one, C. B. So we got a C and a B. I went with Wazik. I'm going with Buddy. I'm sticking to my guns. Idiot. Ah! Oh. Buttered sandwich. Oh, like, Omel! 
almost it's a complete nonsense. No, <laughs> dang <laughs> it! <laughs> I mean, the spelling is like total ridiculousness. But like I you totally could have thought... you could have like a sausage butty. Usually, it's just like buttered <laughs> bread and like some stuff in the middle, like chip butty, anything. Just we both have a, a buddy, a buddy jammer, Jeremy buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a jammy buddy, but you know why not? Have I'm, you used Amel before? I feel like it doesn't matter if I, you have. I, yes, someone actually <laughs> called me an Amel at school, and I, I was trying to look. I've been trying to look it up for like twenty years. There's no definition. It's stuck if with you know, if you know what Amel is. <laughs> yeah. My my uh, fake camera. definition was it was just like a like a dunce at school like they put all the Amels at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so two would have been an idiot. If you know what Amel is. Let us know. Let us know. If you called him an Amel, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> You're the guy who called Gavin an Amel. In fact, just call him an Amel in the comments below. I don't know. Round three. Round three. Here we go. You got on the blob. <laughs> you got rag salad. And you've got the painters in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? And All these right. are actually a part of along the phrases, if you want me to go into the phrases. Oh, yeah. wow. They really are. For example. Okay. Yep. Go she's ahead. on the blob. Yeah. <laughs> she ordered the rag salad. She's got the painters in. Okay, on the blob might be might be drinking. You've been drinking. You're a bit on the blob. I think I've heard on the blob. <laughs> I, I will leave rag salad for now. It's like is it is it a wilted salad that's so bad it looks like there's rags in there? No, it's definitely something. To, it's it's just someone looks haggard. Someone looks not good. They they look a bit rag salad. Oh, she, but right? she ordered a rag salad. Oh, she ordered a rag salad. So you're saying like she ordered just a real, real dog's dinner of a yeah, yeah. just a real bleefy meal. <laughs> Could, could I interest you in a definition? I'm, for I'm down for a definition on maybe B, but likely C for me. How do you feel? We can go with painters in. What's, what's painters you in? Gotta define that. Painters in means she's on her period. Oh, <laughs> all right, okay, okay. She's got the painters on in. On the blob. Oh wow. The on the blob is so believable, which I don't know if that <laughs> makes it less believable. We can't neglect it because it's the thing there. is, I know if something is not quite right. British yeah. people will say it's on the piss. Yes, they'll say that, and I know that. That's a bit on the blob. <laughs> yeah, I could see him literally on top of that. Salad. Big I could see him saying any of these. I'm All right. You okay. ready? Here we go. I'm just gonna pick one. I'm gonna I'm pick. Gonna do one. the countdown. Yep. Three, two, one. A. B. All right. I went with on the blob. Yep. Trevor went with rag salad. Keep going with it. This means she's on her period. No. No. My my going thing oh, was wait. they were all You said rag salad. Yeah, but they I were thought... all on the period. This one is the fake one. No, dang it! <laughs> rag salad is completely made up. <laughs> yes! Painters I knew in you'd be proud! You Paint... took the lead! Painters in is clever. That's yeah. why I was sold on it. I was really hoping it wasn't painters in though, because I really wanted to say it. Rag salad She's on the blob was the one I was most worried about. <laughs> blob, man, that's disgusting. <laughs> she's on the blob. Wait, does that mean when she sat down she's well, let's not, Wait, let's not get into the specifics. <laughs> okay, round are you ready four. for round four? I am ready. We've got skew with, we've got sheet meat, and we, and we've got batty crease. Okay, these are all things I don't want the <laughs> definition of. <laughs> I'm gonna try a new tactic on this one. I'm gonna repeat them all back to I him. I have a really bad feeling about what these mean. Here. <laughs> skew with. Oh man, he really, this is a good strategy. Sheet meat. Batty crease. <laughs> I already, I already have. That was so intimate. There's one that I'm very confident is actually one. I think we need a definition of skew with. I just have nothing yeah, to go it's, on it's with that. Two, like those two words never go together, so I'd yeah. love to hear it. Skew with. Skew with is exactly the same as on the piss. Ah, uh, you know, that, that painting's a bit skew with. Just sort of like, eh. Why wouldn't oh. you just say it's skewed? Like, or a skew, yeah. The skew uh, I take a, a, a rag salad, skewed with a side of, yeah, with a side of sheet meat. <laughs> like, it's a way you can order a meal. Oh, that's skewed. Thursday night at the Batty Crease. I want you to use one of these in a sentence. Ooh, you're adding in some. <clears throat> but, yeah, <laughs> let's, do, let's do Batty Crease. Well, a girl might say, um, I want you to rub oil over me. Paying special attention to my breasts and my batty cream. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> I, sheet meat. I don't know. It's, it's, maybe it's like sleeping naked. Like you're just a slab of sheet meat. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> At that point. <clears throat> I, I think I know my answer. All right, I'm, I, I, I've got my guess. I do. All right, you count it down this time. Three, two, one, C. A. You are both wrong. It's sheet meat. Sheet meat is made up. Oh. Sheet meat is completely made up. Uh, skew with. 
just the one was today. The, yeah. And batty crease is just, you know, it's your bum crease. It's just Oh, it's your butt. It's yeah. just like the the area between the buttocks. The what was your definition for sheet meat? My definition of sheet meat was like, it would come from the, you know, when you like shave the meat off a kebab, but you could also apply it to like, girls in a club. Like, oh, there's some sheet meat in here, lads. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> bring bring it back go. to the sheets, you know? Yeah. That would have convinced me. That, that little thing right there. That's actually really, uh, really it. clever usage. Final Spearhead. round. All right, final, final round, round, round five. Round. You got Terry Phillips, you got Gordon Bennett, and you've got John Thomas. Okay. John Thomas. We know out. John Thomas is <laughs> real. Out. John Thomas is a thing. We know it. All right. It, means, now, it means a guy's uh, parts. Right. Yeah, okay. That's parts. a John Thomas. Is there such a person as John Thomas? Did he exist at one point? Yeah, he was a real dickhead. <laughs> Terry Phillips for definition. Sure. Gordon Bennett for a sentence. Oh, all right. I like that. Yeah. All right, cool. Since we're in the hard round now. Give us, what's Terry Phillips mean? Terry Phillips is, is uh, a name that you would call someone in your group who's just really boring. Because they're just an absolute Terry. They're so an absolute you might Terry. Ask, <clears throat> well, who's coming over? Well, uh, bloody Terry Phillips is coming as well. Like, everyone knows who Terry Phillips is. You would never say <sighs> he's the guy. He's the boring like, guy in the group. He's okay. the boring guy in the group. Okay. And then, can you please use Gordon Bennett in a sentence? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gordon Bennett. So it's like an exclamation. Oh. Oh, 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 no, he does do that. You're like, oh, boy, oh, Gordon Bennett. And when he says Jeebus Lorenzo, it's the same thing. He will scream that. I think we know. All right, so ready? Three, two, one, B. A. Hit me up. What All is right. it? So, John Thomas. John Thomas is the penis. Yes. Got Fair that. Enough. Terry Phillips <laughs> is absolute bullshit. Yeah! yeah! Wait, you were the yes! <laughs> to be Mr. Oh, Mike no, Kino. I need the ball. Oh, no, I need the, I needed the wrong one. <laughs> Oh. And, and Gordon Bennett is like a surprise exclamation, like, Gordon Bennett. Yeah. Oh, I needed the wrong one. I, yeah. I reverse psychology yeah, well, myself. So <laughs> I think I did. That I one mean... is fake. <laughs> that one I just. So I, I wanted to, you wanted to pick the fake one. Oh, that's right. I picked <laughs> the fake one. <laughs> I know. Oh, but I gave, I gave reasons for both of them to be real. Yeah. So wait, who knowing picked, which one I leaned. Who picked them all? <laughs> I picked Gordon Bennett, okay. so yeah. I was wrong. So Trevor gets the point. Trevor gets, gets the point. point. You got three, three points. points. I got one. I'm actually surprised with how many of the five I got correct. Because this is just nonsense. This is awful. Honestly, yeah. I, I went weird with him. You you did a great job. I could do this all day, by the way. Okay. Maybe we'll do a, we'll do another <laughs> one. Oh, that, that Marmite's a bit uh, skew whiff over there. Yeah. The toast is a bit... <laughs> On okay. the rag salad. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it in. Here We're we gonna go. end with a British tradition here. You have some Marmite ready for you guys. Uh, this isn't really a tradition, it's just like an everyday breakfast. Yeah, right? and it's better than Vegemite. Get a huff of that. It's got, it, I'll be honest, it's got a little bit of like a chocolatey smell to it. Kind yeah, of. there's not any, but sure. <laughs> it's yeast. Yeah, make yourself a good slice. Ooh, it looks like Nutella. Now that I know I'm having this one, I'm gonna put a bit more on, because uh, okay. you've well, I haven't had it in months. Sure. Or years, maybe. I think we gotta go kind of Goldilocks on this. Okay. Where we've got like, you know, we got the baby bear, mama bear, and then I'm gonna go papa bear on this. So does this like, did you have to acquire this flavor? When you were a kid and you had it for the so first gonna, time, do you I'm remember that time? i this corner Honestly, right here. Honestly, I, I had it so young that I don't remember the first time I had it. Okay, so yeah, you, you just... Okay. All you, right, you yeah. You can up. Okay. <laughs> papa bear needs some more Marmite. <laughs> I, I wanna see Marmite oh. that's like taller than the bread part. <laughs> Oh, Jeremy, how's that? that's too much. There we go. That's way too much. That's oh, it's real. All right, sticky cheers, cheers, guys. Oh boy. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. So yeah, here's Jeremy. to uh, uh, cheers. Cheers. Here's to uh, ready, set, show. So good. That is delicious. Okay. Well, I still hate it. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, oh my god. Oh, it hit the back of my tongue. It's so salty. Oh my god. <coughs> I licked it off my teeth. Oh, I, I gotta munch it down. I can't swallow it. Oh my god. Oh my god. My body wanted to reject it so hard. It's like the other I didn't times. even have. I had ah, like. I got it. Now. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jeremy. Thank you for watching, everybody. Oh, I did. Um, we'll see you on the next episode of Ready Set Show. Remember, if you have stuff you want to send in, like things for the set or questions you have that you want advice on and things like that. Just send them to the address that's right below yeah. us. Address it's a ready set show. I'm really, I'm in a, I'm in a 
different place right now. If you have any words or uh, things that you want Gavin to test us on in the oh. future, comments. Or anything you want us to do in a future episode, comments. We love hearing from you guys. Papa Bear came home and Goldilocks was asleep in his bed. I'll she tell you that She nailed much. you. You're a skew with. Wow. Uh, I'm, I really... Oh, Gordon Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> she ordered the rest. <laughs> <laughs> she ordered it. <laughs> And that's what you would have said, right? If we were like, what does it mean that she wore the rag salad? You would have went, I mean, she's on a period. All yep. of them meant that. Yeah, they all did. Rag salad. <laughs> on the blob is real insulting, I feel like, to be like, ah, don't, you know, she's in a bad mood. <laughs>